Show me your way, O Lord, that I may follow in your truth. Teach me to revere your name, and my whole heart will praise you. Welcome on this Holy Wednesday to a time of midday prayer. Here in this space, we will read scripture and meditate on God's word to us this day in the midst of this Holy Week. I invite you to follow along. The text for our liturgies will be below on your screen so you can respond at the appropriate times. So let us come together this day in a stance of prayer. We'll begin today with the Litany for Lent, which comes from our Book of Common Worship. O Christ, out of your faithfulness, we have all received grace upon grace. You are our eternal hope. You are patient and full of mercy. You are generous to all who call upon you. Save us, Lord. O Christ, fountain of life and holiness, in you our waywardness has found new direction and our wandering purpose. On the cross you were wounded for our transgressions and were bruised for our iniquities. Save us, Lord. O Christ, stalwart unto death, source of all comfort, our life and our resurrection, our peace and reconciliation. Save us, Lord. O Christ, Savior of all who trust you, hope of all who die for you, and joy of all the saints, save us, Lord. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us peace. God of love, as in Jesus Christ you gave yourself to us, so may we give ourselves to you, living according to your holy will. Keep our feet firmly in the way where Christ leads us. Make our mouths speak the truth that Christ teaches us. Fill our bodies with the life that is Christ within us. In his holy name we pray. Amen. Our scripture readings for this Holy Wednesday come first from Psalm 70. Be pleased, O God, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let those be put to shame and confusion who seek my life. Let those be turned back and brought to dishonor who desire to hurt me. Let those who say, aha, aha, turn back because of their shame. Let all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let those who love your salvation say evermore, God is great. But I am poor and needy. Hasten to me, O God. You are my help and my deliverer. O Lord, do not delay. Here ends the psalm. Amen. Our second reading for today comes from the 12th chapter of the book of Hebrews. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and the sin that clings so closely and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, 
looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, who for the sake of the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, disregarding its shame, and has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such hostility against himself from sinners, so that you may not grow weary or lose heart. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Finally, our gospel reading for today comes from the book of John, chapter 13, verses 21 through 32. After saying this, Jesus was troubled in spirit and declared, Very truly, I tell you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another, uncertain of whom he was speaking. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining next to him. Simon Peter therefore motioned to him to ask Jesus of whom he was speaking. So while reclining next to Jesus, he asked him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, it is the one whom I give this piece of bread when I have dipped it in the dish. So when he had dipped the piece of bread, he gave it to Judas, son of Simon Iscariot. After he received the piece of bread, Satan entered into him. Jesus said to him, do quickly what you are going to do. Now, no one at the table knew why he said this to him. Some thought that because Judas had the common purse, Jesus was telling him, buy what we need for the festival, or that he should give something to the poor. So after receiving the piece of bread, he immediately went out, and it was night. When he had gone out, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and will glorify him at once. This is the Gospel of the Lord. May Jesus Christ be praised. Again today, <clears throat> I want to read to you a prayer, a poem that comes from Prayers and Litanies by Charlonda Sledge. I will post a link at the end of this service to this book in case you are interested in looking at more of the wonderful poems that she has to offer. But today's poem, which comes in the section on the season of Lent, is called Openness. So let us hear these words as we continue to pray this day. O God of openness, O God of secret places, we know the mistakes we have made. We know how everything can be going along fine on the outside, and then our wrongs are revealed, and nothing is right. You know what we hide from you and from others. You know what we have done and what we have forgotten to do. You know how we have hurt others and in so doing, how we have hurt ourselves and you. O oh God, forgive us. Cleanse us through tears and prayer. May we reach out to accept your grace in Jesus Christ. 
May we be instruments of your love and grace and healing. May we be truthful and ever in harmony with your purposes. May we identify with our sisters and brothers in need and stand by them, no matter how much harder their lives may be than ours. Give them grace and hope for the living of these days. For all who are hurting inside, for all who love so much, for all who need your compassion, for all who need forgiveness and need to forgive, for all of us, we ask your presence. Walk with us, give us strength to finish the journey with you. As we continue this prayer, I invite us into a time of silence where we can consider these readings for today and this prayer which we have just read, where we can lift up in our own hearts and minds the prayers that we bring to this service today. We can leave them in the comments of this service stream or keep them to ourselves, knowing that God hears them no matter what. So let us take time for silence before closing in prayer. Holy God, your word, Jesus Christ, spoke peace to a sinful world and brought humanity the gift of reconciliation. Teach those who bear his name to follow the example he gave us. May our faith, hope, and charity turn hatred to love, conflict to peace, and death to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Again, friends, today we continue in repeating the words that are said often on Ash Wednesday, but which we can take on as a new invitation here in the midst of Holy Week. Hear this invitation and consider how it might invite you into a renewed sense of discipleship. Friends in Christ, every year at the time of the Christian Passover, we celebrate our redemption through the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lent is a time to prepare for this celebration and to renew our life in the Paschal mystery. I invite you, therefore, in the name of Christ, to observe a holy Lent by self-examination and penitence, by prayer and fasting, by works of love, and by reading and meditating on the Word of God. And now may your mouth speak of God's goodness. May your arms hold those in need. May your feet walk toward the way of justice. May your heart trust its worth. 
May your soul dance in God's grace, and may this be your rhythm until God's promised day. Go with courage, go with heart, go with peace. Amen.